Hi everyone, in today's video I'll be covering a little bit of a different topic because it's not going to be a sad or negative video. I know, shocker. Um, today is another requested group. Um, as the title already says, I'm going to be talking about Good Day and how they got their second chance in 2020 both as Signature and Red Square. I want to thank everyone who requested this group as I fell in love with Good Day when they were in the unit and I'm just so happy to see that they're getting the debut again and trying again at their dreams so I'm also happy that other people care. But let me tell you all about how Good Day became two new K-pop groups. The 10-member girl group Good Day debuted under C9 Entertainment on August 30th, 2017. The 10 members of Good Day were Hee Jin, Jeannie, Cherry, Chaesol, Nayun, Jiwon, Han, Viva, Bomin, and Lucky. Their debut EP was called All Day Good Day and it had the title track Rolly. On top of the title track, they also had three songs from their subunits Good Morning, Good Night, and Midnight. Their debut album sadly didn't sell too well, selling under 2,000 copies. Just a few months after their debut, six members of Good Day joined the idol rebooting program The Unit. Hee Jin, Jinny, Chisel, Jiwon, and Viva all passed the audition episode, while Lucky didn't pass but was brought back into the competition in episode 4. The show aired between October 28, 2017 and February 10, 2018. The members did all differently. Jiwon ended up being in the final episode, but she didn't rank high enough to join the rebooting group the Unity. The show did bring some attention to the girls, especially Jiwon. She was very popular on that show for her bright smile. <laughs> but after this, there wasn't a lot of news on Good Day. As far as we know, Good Day did disband, but there was no announcement from what I can tell. Their Twitter has even been suspended for some reason, probably because they were inactive, and their Instagram has been set to private. In November of 2018, it was announced that a company by the name CI Entertainment had acquired 100% stakes in C9 Entertainment. Just over a year ago after CI Entertainment acquired C9 Entertainment, C9 Entertainment announced that they were going to be debuting a new girl group in the future. The group, temporarily named C9 Girls, was set to be managed by C9 sub-label J9. Five of the members from Good Day were announced to be joining the group. Most of them had changed their stage name since then. Chisel didn't change her name and kept her same name, but Jiwon changed the spelling of her name, Han got the stage name Yeah, Viva changed her name to Sun, and Lucky changed her stage name to Belle. Along with the five Good Day members, two new members were added, Semi and Celine. Nadir posted their official logo on January 13th, 2020, and the group members even posted for Nylon magazine prior to their debut. The seven members had their debut on February 4th, 2020 under the name Signature with a song called Nunu Nana. They had their debut showcase Signature Move at the Ilchi Art Hall in Gangnam Seoul. Just a few months later, on April 6th, they released their second debut lead single, Asa. Then, later in 2020, on September 22nd, they released their first EP, Listen and Speak, with the title track, Ari Song. Song. <laughs> their album featured the previous two debut singles, Nunu Nana and Asa, along with two new songs. The album ended up selling out as the first batch estimate was too low. The album sold over 6,700 copies and it picked at number 21 on the Gan album chart. Signature was also nominated for a lot of end-of-year awards like the New Female Artist at Melon Music Awards, Korean First Brand Awards, and Eminent Asian Music Awards. 
They didn't win anything, but this was a good start to their careers. On March 21st, 2020, About Entertainment announced that a new girl group was about to launch. The days after that, they started posting teaser clips for each member, only marked as G, B, A, C, L, and R. They also posted short teaser films for each member. In the clips, the members' faces were partially covered to keep the mystery of the group going. Finally, on May 3rd, the members were finally revealed. Four of the five members were former members of Good Day. Green, formerly known as Jeannie, Chea, formerly known as Cherry, Ari, formerly known as Nayun, Bomin, who kept her same name, and the last member was Lina, a soloist that had debuted earlier under the name Blen. The group had their debut on May 19th, 2020 with her single album called Prequel, with the title track Colorful. The album sold around 1,700 copies, peaking at number 38 on the Gaon album chart. On December 31st, 2020, it was suddenly announced that Red Square would be changing their current company, About Entertainment, to a new company called Iconic m e a subdivision of another company called Taiwan Entertainment. There isn't a lot of information out there as to why this happened, as they really just posted a really short announcement on their fan cafe when this happened. I would feel bad for leaving out Heejin as the last member of Good Day, since he didn't end up debuting in any K-pop group. There isn't much information known about her, but she seems to be working as a producer in a producing career called Soul Sire. I think I'm saying that right. She worked on most of the songs on Ong Sung Woo's album Layers, writing, composing, and arranging different tracks. She also did get married in late 2020, so she's probably just living her life on the down low. She does post on a public Instagram, so if you want to keep up with her, I will leave a link down below. As I said earlier, there isn't a lot known as why Good Day disbanded. I think there's a theme in groups that join the unit not doing super well, even though the show's point is to help those groups. According to the Wikipedia of the unit's purpose is to quote, to give them, the idol, a fair chance to demonstrate their talents that they may have not been able to showcase before, unquote. As the name says, the show is supposed to be rebooting idols. I think they were going for the same thing that happened with Newest after Purdue Season 2, but I think it just kind of failed. C9 was founded in 2012, but they only debuted their first group in 2017. I think they might have been struggling and hoping that Good Day would do well, but there were just so many groups that debuted that they might have gotten lost. They were competing with a lot of great groups, some of them even results from the first produced and second produced series. Golden Child, JBJ, Card, MXM, News W, Priston, The Boys, Triple H, 101, Wiki Meki, just to name a few, all debuted in the same year as Good Day. I wouldn't be surprised if Good Day just got lost in the crowd. Sometimes that just happens, and groups just don't make it big, sadly. That's the truth of the K-pop industry. So they probably tried to get Good Day some love by sending them to the unit. The thing I don't understand is what happened afterwards. The girls got some recognition, so why not ride off the wave of success from the unit and have a comeback? Maybe it was funding issues? I wouldn't be surprised. I am planning on making a video on the unit sometime in the future, so if you are interested in that, let me know. But I think after C9 got some eyes on them, after Produce 101 Season 2 with Bae Jin Young and then debuting him in a group, they had more funds and more attention. So I do wonder why some of the members left the company. Of course, it doesn't have to be anything crazy or malicious behind it. I think C9 is actually a good company for giving the girls that wanted it in the company a second chance. Not everyone is lucky enough to have that chance. I think Red Square may have changed companies due to financial issues, but who really knows? I always wonder when groups disappear or have a drastic change, but that's just because I always think what worse is happening. I just hope that both Signature and Red Square have come back soon, and when they do, please support them. I will of course be leaving the group's social medias down below if you want to check them out. If you guys have any theories or more information as to what happened to Good Day, please let me know. And also, if you have any more information on what happened with the Red Square and why they changed companies, again, please let me know in the comments. 
But that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank everyone again who asked me to talk about these groups. I'm glad to make a video that isn't negative or upsetting, so I hope you guys enjoy those videos too. Uh, let me know in the comments, did you know who these groups were? Uh, what did you think about them? And anything else you want to chat about, we can have a discussion in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.